Good evening. I'm Hugh Jass, and this is World Politics Tonight. First, a story from the backyards of Pennsylvania, the birthplace of American democracy. As Election Day approaches, the race for state senate between current Senator Arthur Maltese and his opponent, first selectman William Miller, is certainly heating up. Some political analysts have commented this might be some of the most vile political mudslinging that this country has ever bared witness to. In the past weeks, both Maltese and Miller's camps have been running political campaign commercials on all three major networks, not promoting their own agendas, but bashing one another's. And here tonight on World Politics Tonight, for the first time anywhere, both of these commercials airing back to back. Tonight. State Senator Arthur Maltese isn't out for the people's benefit. He's out for his own. In a 2001 address to Congress, Maltese voted yes to communism and against the American dream. Four out of five times, Maltese proposed removing the D.A.R.E. program from our public schools and replacing school crossing guards with meth heads who sell loose cigarettes and smack to our impressionable youth. Arthur Maltese doesn't kiss babies when he's campaigning. He eats them. In a public restroom, Maltese was overheard saying, I wipe my ass with $20 bills. In fact, I'm doing it right now, in this public restroom. It's not my money, it's Pennsylvania's. Maybe Delaware can afford a selfish, commie, drug-dealing baby eater who uses U.S. currency like a roll of Charmin. But Pennsylvania can do better. Paid for by the William Miller for Pennsylvania Senate Committee and viewers like you. William Miller has been doing a lot of talking about Senator Arthur Maltese's values, but it seems to just be another case of the pot calling the kettle black. William Miller wants to be Senator, but he doesn't even know how to get to the Capitol building. He had to pull over and ask for directions. William Miller said that the children of Pennsylvania are lazy and that the legal working age should be lowered to seven years old. He wants every child to know the value of the mental anguish that only comes along with physically depreciating manual labor. After setting fire to an elementary school during an anti-smoking assembly, Miller's only public statement was, I'm not sorry. While speaking frankly about World War II for no reason in particular, Miller was quoted as saying, sure, Hitler's values were slightly questionable, but he was one hell of a public speaker. He got what he wanted from his people, and I can only hope that one day I can gain those skills of public oration too. Maybe Maryland can afford a mud-raking, direction-asking, slave-laboring Nazi bigot as their state senator, but Pennsylvania can more likely do better. Brought to you by the re-elect Maltese for State Senate Committee and the number three. Harsh words. Harsh words indeed. And tonight, here on World Politics Tonight, we are fortunate enough to have with us in our studio both Senator Maltese and his opponent, First Electman William Miller. Gentlemen, you and your parties have made some pretty strong accusations against one another. And tonight, on World Politics Tonight with Hugh Jass, we would like to give each of you the opportunity to defend yourselves in our non-biased political forum. First, Senator Maltese, mm -hmm. what have you to say about First Electman Miller's claims? I've been thinking about that for several, several weeks now. And I gotta be completely honest with you, Hugh. The son of a bitch is pretty balls on accurate. <laughs> I mean, you can tell he's done his homework. God, this is one slash son of a bitch. <laughs> and Mr. <laughs> Mr. Miller, Maltese has accused you of being tell a, what I said. And let me quote this correctly. Get it right. A mud raking, mm -hmm. direction asking, slave laboring, laboring. Yeah. Nazi bigot. Yeah. Have Take you that, no rebuttal? Miller. <laughs> Well, Hugh, the way I see it, there's really only one way to respond to allegations <laughs> such as those. Guilty as charged. <laughs> you see, you. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the people of Pennsylvania to decide what we like to call Come here. the lesser of two evils. This is who we are. Take it or leave it, Come Pennsylvania. Uh, what are you going to do? Yes. It's me and him. Gentlemen. It's a bi-party <laughs> system. What are you going to do? <laughs> Spit it out, ass! Come on! Save your breath, actually. We got a clan meeting we gotta run over to in about 20 minutes. Starts in 20 minutes! Let's go. All right, Miller, we'll take my car. If we get out early, we're gonna shoot the state bird. I like the way you think, Artie. All right, come on, Miller. Let's, Let's get go. the fuck out of here. 
Um, thank you, Senator Maltese and First Selectman Miller. For World Politics Tonight, this is Hugh Jass, and we'll be back after a moment of words, Senator, from our sponsors. 